Hey folks, Bob Reese here with the Guides Forecast, back to give you a fishing report for Sunday, August 29th. We're a couple days into the Chinook only season above Tongue Point. Took a couple days, uh, well, took a couple days off of reporting, only one day off of fishing. Uh, if you hear any wild rumors about uh, me running out of gas or batteries dying or anything like that, you, you know, you can't believe anything you hear on the internet. So um, let's just get right onto the fishing report. Uh, so everybody has a high degree of anticipation that uh, Tongue Point should be fishing good for Chinooks right now. There were definitely Chinooks caught up at Tongue Point today. Um, not an epic fishery, definitely sporadic from uh, varied, varied by boat. Uh, overall, a, a decent bite from first light uh, through high slack and then it uh, tapered quickly when the tide turned, but apparently turned back on a little later in the afternoon, way up at Miller Island there. When the tide finally started rolling out pretty good, there was some uh, decent Chinook action up real high above Tongue Point, Miller Island area, uh, above Rice, uh, Rice Island as well. So I didn't get the final count on how that went, but I know uh, it was starting after I already had moved downstream and decided to target some coho salmon over on the Washington side. So. Um, Everybody's anticipating that Tongue Point bite to build. We'll talk more about that in the forecast section. As far as the coho bite went, um, there was some good fishing on uh, the last part of the incoming tide over on the Washington side up by the uh, restrooms and the shipwreck there, uh, well up into Blind Channel. Good, good fishing, um, lots of action. A few hatchery fish, mostly wilds and some chinooks as well. And uh, also some good action on uh, about midway through the outgoing tide in the same area. So most did quite well over there. I got over there a little bit late. Uh, we stuck it out late, fished late, um, and found those biters to again be uh, over there from the restrooms up to the, <coughs> up to the shipwreck and a little upstream of that. It's uh, been critical to get your gear down deeper. Those fish seem to be hovering uh, right close to the bottom. So making sure you have enough lead if you're running pro trolls to get them down deep. Or fishing, I've had uh, been fishing some naked baits and even tried a spinner, uh, a size seven spinner. Um, started up at Tongue Point with a spinner and brought it down here hoping for big coho because I had heard reports that there were a lot of big coho being caught down here. but. The coho that we killed today uh, were not large. One of them was before them were, were smaller. So, uh, but there were some boats that had a really good grade of coho from that area. Uh, restroom, rest stop there up to the shipwrecks. And, and it was going on quite late in the afternoon. Of course, uh, being some of the, one of the few boats that were there, you're just an easy target for seals and sea lions to grab your fish. So that is the danger of uh, fish in that area when few other people are, are competing with you you become a target but yeah good action cohorts certainly on the verge uh, I believe today was the last day of ocean fishing but uh, we had a lot of northwest winds so not sure uh, anybody but maybe the charter fleet went outside for salmon but ocean salmon is now closed and so we'll be focusing we'll see uh, well we'll see some reports uh, where I'm fishing and uh, thanks for paying attention. Keep coming. I did not run out of gas.